20 for this. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Welcome. Good to see you all. Except now I have to work. <laughs> all right, you know, it should be you all do the talking and entertain us. <laughs> that would be a good way, but we're going to flip it. We're going to take some questions and get right into the meat and potatoes. We have to answer the questions? No. They want to know, Stan. It, it, yeah, they want to know. You want to know about life is an open book. Okay, let's start with some questions right here. To, to ask questions, yeah. Um, in the biography, who is Stanley? It says that the idea of the Incredible Hulk came from Doctor, I mean, uh, Doctor Eckel and Mister Hyde. Is that a true fact? Well, you didn't understand the question. I did. You might say so. I. I Never thought of it that clearly, but it there is a resemblance, isn't there? And no, all I was thinking of, I wanted, to, excuse me, I wanted to get an anti-hero hero. I thought it would be fun to make a hero out of a monster. Oh, I know what I was thinking of. Now I remember. The movie Frankenstein with Boris Karloff, if you are familiar with it. I always thought, I always thought that Karloff was really the good guy. He didn't want to hurt anybody, but those idiots with torches were always chasing him up and down the hills until finally he had his strike back. So I felt it would be fun to get a guy who's sort of a monster, who's a good monster, but people won't leave him alone because he looks so terrible. And that's really where the whole came from. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Hulk brothers. Yeah! <laughs> Why does that, uh, why does that writing comic books? He didn't, he didn't stop. I said, I wanted to start. Oh. Well, because I was a teenager, and I had to make some money. <laughs> and it looked like the easiest way to make money was to write some comic books. That's what I did. <laughs> Mr. Lee, I don't actually have a question for you, and the reason for that is I don't feel there's anything that you can, that is left for me to ask. I don't know what a legend is, but you're above that by definition. So what I'm saying is, as I look around and see all of these faces in the crowd, we're all here because of what you've done. So for that, I applaud what you. It. <laughs> No, Thor was having a drink and I wanted some. 
And he said it would be too strong for me. And I said, no, let me have it anyway. And in the next scene, they were carrying me out. <laughs> the real reason I love that one, I don't know if you thought of it, it had two scenes. <laughs> Well, you know, it'll be the star of the movie. <laughs> oh, Kevin Smith, I'll probably be the only character in the movie. <laughs> Kevin's a good friend. If you, if you could spend the day with one of your characters, who would it be and what would you do? Probably Iron Man, because he's so rich, some of it is rich. <laughs> and he's so good looking, and the women love him, so if I'm with him, there'd be a lot of women around too, that would be. Yeah, let's say Iron Man. Want to breathe? First of all, I want to thank you so much for all of your books. They basically defined my childhood, and I know that the same thing is with most of these other people here. And you're, you're a personal hero of mine, and I want to know so you're gonna when cry? you started everything, did you know that your writings were going to get this popular? Never, never. I just hoped the books would sell enough that I'd keep my job because they needed the money. <laughs> I never in a million years thought that one day they'd be coming. They didn't have comic book conventions when I started in the comics. And even when they started with the conventions, they didn't really play up the Marvel books right away. I, I never thought anything like this would happen. But I must admit, I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I, it really You're more than welcome. Thank you. Um, what is your favorite um, hero that you made, and what's your favorite villain? Mm -hmm. Well, my favorite hero, I guess. My favorite superhero is really uh, uh, Spider-Man. Yeah. I don't have a favorite villain. I, I love them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mentioned Dr. Doom the most. I'll tell you why I mentioned Dr. Doom. To me, in a sense, he isn't even a criminal because if you think about it, all that Dr. Doom wants is to rule the world. <laughs> now, any one of you could walk up to a policeman and say, Officer, I want to rule the world. They can't arrest you. It's not a crime to want to rule the world. So I don't know why they consider Dr. Doom a villain. I think he's just a very ambitious man. <laughs> Um, do you ever look back and think, what else you would have done had you had life done differently, something else you would have done? 
Get out the H-bomb or something. I don't know. I, I always wanted to write. And I think I would have enjoyed being an actor if I had the chance. But without the comic books, I never would have gotten the chance. So that doesn't matter. No, I, I never think to myself anymore, what would I have done without comics? I, I am so deeply rooted in the comic book world that I never really have much chance to think outside of it. By the way, one thing, I am so impressed, and I think we owe this lady such a vote of thanks for the way she is translating for people who don't hear. It's just I suppose he said that. Is the Thane's door actually made out of orange rock like the rest of his body? Jeez. Oh, I think all of him is really made out of the same <laughs> Said, 
Now, what is all this about that girl? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, it's a movie. <laughs> she was a little bit annoying for a while. That <laughs> She's pretty smart. Whenever she wants a present, she acts annoyed. <laughs> Um, hi, Stan. So, I just want to thank you, like everyone else has, that got into the morning because literally nothing else happens here. Um, yeah, that's true. And uh, I just want to say, I just want to ask, uh, if you had superpowers, what do you think they would be? Well, first, let me say that I love being in Des Moines. It's a wonderful city. Because if you were lucky, you'd succeed in everything. If a villain shot at you, he'd miss, because you're lucky. And whatever you tried to accomplish, you would, because you're lucky. So, thinking about that, I'll give you a little advertisement now. I came up with an idea for a television series, and it's called Stan Lee's Lucky Man. And they produced it in England, and it's a big hit over there, and it's now coming to America. So you watch for it. It's Stanley's Lucky Man, and it's all about a guy who has luck, but sometimes it's good for him, sometimes it's bad, and I think you might enjoy it. He's a different kind of superhero. And that's the end of the advertisement. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, I was going to ask that. That's a good question. I don't really have one. I, I would have to think for a long time. Oh, come on. And by the time I came up with an answer, you'd be off somewhere else in some other city by then. <laughs> I don't know. I'd say the first one, maybe. Like the first one. If you didn't have the first one, you wouldn't have the second one. Yeah, that's good one. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's a good one. If you're familiar with the Silver Surfer, he's the character that I tried to put whatever philosophy I could in a character and let him talk about the state of the world and why people are the way they are. Why, in, with such a beautiful planet like Earth, where it has all the water we need, all the food we need, wonderful climate, and yet people fight each other, and they harm each other, and he, from another galaxy, he cannot understand. And I, I tried to put the philosophical things in there. So I, I, I forget what your question was, but if it was which character I, I think has more, yeah, which story stands out the most. I think that some of the Silver Surface stories, that's it, sorry. <laughs>
and now the characters that are being created by a new group of people, and I can't create a wall, uh, then I'm very happy. If, if Marvel, if you enjoy Marvel, I am very happy because the whole purpose of Marvel is to bring enjoyment to people. That's what movies are for, that's what books are for, just so people can enjoy them and perhaps gain a little knowledge along the way. For example, you never knew before that this is the Spidey sign. <laughs> now you know it. <laughs> Yeah. 
extended four cameos in a day. It's true, but there's one that no one knows about yet. So you see three, which is actually, yeah, two have been seen, Doctor Strange, Guardian 2, and then the Spider, but then there's a fourth one. Are you allowed to be talking about that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's an actual full-size NASA space in New York. <laughs> he, he, we got there in a wardrobe, and he thought it was just going to be something simple. Oh, no, Stan, you're getting into that. How the hell am I going to get into that? <laughs> it took him a while to put it up. And when he find it, if you see anything in the cameo, you see him sitting down, right? Well, there's another scene that he's like this. He's walking around. <laughs> Thank you for right for them to make fun of me. But <laughs> <laughs> what I'm getting to, and it bothers me because I'm, I'm a father also, and I have a lot of friends, and they know when we go to this screen that I screen about filming, everybody asks, well, what is it? What is it? Tell us a little bit. I swear to God, I'm my kids get to the Bible. We won't tell anybody. And I don't say anything, man, but it's just like, I want to say, I want to answer that little bit. So when we did the cameo from the guy said, Max, what is it going to take the guy? I said, nothing. He's a clown from Max. I know how you are. So I just want one thing. I can't say what I did. But all I'm saying is something's missing from that movie. And I have. <laughs> I thought of something. Why is it that these panels, they ask us questions? Why can't we? Occasionally, yeah. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> what would you do to improve Marvel Comics? What would you do to improve the movies they're making? Hmm. Which character do you think they don't do correctly? Things like that. I can't wait to be here. I can't ask. What you do? Oh, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>